The Crown Victoria dominates the police vehicle market in the United States, controlling something like 70% of the segment. But strong competition from Dodge, Chevrolet, and Carbon Motors is forcing Ford to step up its game. Autoline Daily correspondent Craig Cole was on the ground at a press conference last week, and here is the latest from Dearborn. The last Crown Vic is scheduled to roll off the line late next year, and the company's redesigned Taurus is set to take over police duty. Ford claims it's ready for anything departments can throw at it, and it should be. It's heavily modified compared to what you can pick up from your local dealer. You have to have unique cooling systems, uh, braking systems, suspensions, because they're going to be taking 8-inch curves at 40 miles an hour. So all of a sudden, everything has to become very robust. Most of the time when that means robust, that means that you actually have a unique component or part in there. So the platform is just the starting point, and the reason why it's so valuable for Ford to use one platform is because we're able to manufacture amongst other vehicles in an assembly plant. So there comes efficiencies with that. One of the other upgrades law enforcement should appreciate is a modified electrical system so it's easier to add aftermarket equipment like lights and sirens. The standard engine is a 3.5 liter V6 with TIVCT. That stands for Twin Independent Variable Camshaft Timing and it delivers 280 horsepower, 30 more than the Vicky's V8 with 20% better fuel economy. An EcoBoost 6 is also available as is all-wheel drive. Demonstrating the new car's superiority, Ford took us for back-to-back -back test rides around its Dearborn track to compare the handling. While it's hard to tell from the rear seat how a car drives, the Taurus had noticeably less body roll and it felt a lot more planted. But the Taurus is only half of Ford's police interceptor story. And many of our customers also wanted greater choice in drive configurations, in powertrains, and also fuel economy ratings. So yes, they want choice, and we're giving it to them with a, uh, a comprehensive two-vehicle offering. Last week, the company revealed a new police utility vehicle to members of the media. No, your eyes aren't playing tricks on you. That's an industrial-grade version of the brand-new 2011 Explorer. For the first time in a long time, law enforcement has dibs on the latest and greatest from Ford. That means they get sync, soft materials on the dashboard and doors, plus all the ruggedness of a Crown Vic at least according to engineers. Just like the Taurus, the Explorer Police Interceptor is purpose-built for law enforcement, sharing the same platform and countless parts ranging from brake rotors and wheels to engine mounts and powertrains. It will be interesting to see if Ford can maintain its dominance of the police market. Will departments flock to the new front-drive-based Taurus and Explorer models like they had to the Crown Victoria? Or will they lean towards traditional rear-wheel drive offerings like the Dodge Charger or the upcoming Chevy Caprice. Either way, we'll have to wait until late next year to find out. Introducing Bridgestone's third generation of run-flat tires with groundbreaking new Bridgestone technologies. Bridgestone run-flat tires offer improved ride comfort, lower rolling resistance, and improved wear while giving you the peace of mind and comfort you need.